Hey everybody, it's Lon Seiben and I'm just back from New York City where I went to another one of these Pepcom events. They're a company that uh, puts a whole bunch of consumer electronics brands in a room and you go and meet with everybody in one spot. A very efficient way for me to get uh, some of my research done. And I saw a lot of really cool PC concepts from three companies we've uh, covered a lot here on the channel, but uh, with very new products. And I wanted to show those to you. So we're going to start first with HP. And the first thing that I saw that was really cool was a new phone that they have. This is called the Elite X3. And uh, what this is, is a cell phone that docks to a docking station and becomes essentially a desktop Windows device. And it's running, though, with an ARM-based processor. So although you get uh, the Windows experience and a full version of Windows 10, it runs universal apps only. And this is really a big change for Microsoft because before they had a separate version of Windows that ran on ARM. Uh, this will now run any universal Windows app that its little Snapdragon ARM processor can support. So you will get uh, the kind of battery life you would normally expect out of a smartphone, yet get a full Windows experience. So in addition to having that docking mechanism, they also have a notebook module that is completely wireless to the phone. So it's a Wi-Fi based system where you get uh, your keyboard and your video and everything just streaming from the phone to the laptop module. So you've got that uh, and you have the dock at your desk where you can plug it in and get an actual wired connection for both video and USB and everything else. Really interesting concept because again, you can take your phone and make it your PC. I'm sure it'll be a lot slower than a, a typical Windows PC might, but for a lot of these universal apps, it might uh, perform quite well. I think it's about $700 or so uh, for the version with just the phone and the dock, and I guess they're going to have a big uh, package deal coming out soon for $1,300 for the notebook module as well as the dock and phone. Now this next one is a gaming PC from HP called the Omen X. It's a big cube, uh, reminiscent of the old Next Cubes that Steve Jobs was selling before he went back to Apple, but uh, this is designed for gaming, and they have uh, separate cooling chambers on it. So one of those squares on there is the power supply. Another one is for the drives. Uh, another one uh, is for the motherboard and video cards, and they're all cooled independently from each other. What's interesting about this is that this is industry standard. So you can take a micro ATX motherboard and stick it in there. Their press release indicates they're going to have a chassis-only version of this product. So you can get it with the power supply and the drive brackets and nothing else. Uh, that'll cost you around $600, or you can spend $2,000 plus uh, and get it configured the way you want. I think they had two uh, 1070s in SLI configuration at the show. Very big case. It's really enormous. You can't miss it. Uh, but if you're looking for something cool for gaming, that might be worth taking a look at. And this is the HP Pavilion Wave. This is an Intel-based uh, desktop computer, i3, i5, i7, uh, that looks nice enough for the living room, and it has a nice speaker built into it also. Kind of almost like a Mac Pro design in that you've got everything kind of fitting into a sort of cylinder on this. It's not quite cylindrical, but uh, the same concept as to how they loaded everything in there. So different design. They're trying to focus this more as a living room PC uh, with enough horsepower to do more than just uh, what a micro mini PC might be able to do for you. There's a GPU option available too, an AMD one, uh, similar to the processor you might see on an iMac. So not all that fast for higher end gaming, but uh, probably good for mid-level games. And a bunch of you wrote in about Kangaroo's new notebook PC concept, and they were there at the show with it. And uh, what this is going to be is a 11-inch laptop. It feels very similar to what we've seen other low-cost laptops look and feel like. But uh, unlike those, there are actually two computers in the box, and they come on these little silver cartridges. So what you do is you pop in the cartridge, and then you can boot it up inside of this laptop dock. Uh, the dock, of course, has a display, a 720p display, keyboard, trackpad, battery, all the ports. And then you can pop these little computers out and swap in another one uh, and boot it up into something different. So you could have two different Windows machines, a Windows and a Linux machine, however you want to uh, configure it, you can. These are Atom Cherry Trail based devices, two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage each. Uh, interesting concept that comes out in mid-October for about $300 and we'll certainly take a closer look at that when it arrives. And Lenovo was there with their yoga book. And I thought initially that this was a dual screen device, but it isn't. So what you've got is your uh, touch screen area, like we've seen on many tablets and two-in-ones. And then the other portion is a big capacitive area that uh, is built to work like a keyboard. So when you touch it, the keys will light up. There's a trackpad area, and you can use it like a uh, typical keyboard, although it doesn't have any feel to it. So that was the one thing that I had a hard time getting used to, was typing on it, because there is no key travel. There's no keys. Uh, you're just trying to put your, key, your fingers in the right spot to get the key presses you're looking for. 
for, but it also doubles as a Wacom tablet. They have Wacom technology integrated into it, so you can draw in that entire surface and see the result of that drawing on screen. It runs Android or Windows. You have your choice of operating system. It doesn't dual boot, so you gotta pick one or the other. Uh, the price on it for Android is $499, uh, $550 for Windows. We'll see how this one does. I really like how thin it is as a two-in-one, but it's very hard for me to type on at least. I probably need more uh, time to play with it, but what I like about Lenovo is that they try all sorts of different stuff to see what uh, might work out in the marketplace. So those are some of the interesting PC things that I saw at the show. I have a few more odds and ends on the wrap-up on Monday night. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.